it comes to finances, my God, are they clever. They are so clever with the finances. Um, you know, one of the guys uh, I talk about in, in my book, um, the, the book I wrote about my experiences on there. Which book was that? That was an interview with a terrorist. Okay. Uh, I didn't bring that one here with here, but um, that one. So I had a guy who got apprehended. He was um, he lived in Germany for about six years. He's from uh, Bakuba. And he was coming back to um, uh, pick up his wife and then smuggle her back out of Iraq, back to, to Germany. And he got caught on a uh, random checkpoint that special forces threw up. And his name and information was on a on a be on the lookout list, a bullet list. And that's how he got caught, just randomly like that. But how he acquired this dude's information was wild. So what happens is when they need to get money into Iraq to funnel and support these guys, uh, different charitable organizations in Europe and uh, elsewhere, what they'll do is take the money to that people are donating for the cause, whatever. They buy really expensive vehicles, uh, high-end BMWs, Mercedes, it's called you know, 100 plus thousand dollar vehicles. They ship them into Kuwait, and then someone on the other end receives them. They take them and drive them up to Baghdad, and then they're used for one of two purposes. Either they're sold, and then that money that they make from the sale of the vehicle is now used to pay the salaries of, of the fighters for the different for the different organizations, or used to buy the weapons, things like that. It's a way of uh, smuggling in money uh, without doing through normal banking systems that right. fall in that work. Yeah. Um, and then the other the other uh, thing they would use it for is uh, car bombs. So when you see a BMW 7 Series driving up uh, near a convoy or heading towards towards a uh, towards a gate, one of the military gates to you know, come on the base, you're not really going to think that this. BMW 7 Series, brand spanking new, is a car bomb. You're thinking that beat up jalopy over there that's riding a little low on the mm -hmm. on its suspension is the car bomb. And you'd be right, that usually is the car bomb. So those high-end vehicles had much better um, luck at getting really close to the gates before they would set, set off their bombs. Right. And when you set off, you know, 1,000, 2,000 pounds in a car, right in a gate like that, you're going to cause some major damage. Mm. You know, so what happened is, when one of those incidents happen, we, we look at um, all the evidence that's left behind, right? The, the vehicles. So you find the VIN numbers for the vehicles, you put it all down there, you keep track of the VINs. Um, and then when they did a raid on someone they thought was tied to this whole network, they discovered all the paperwork for the vehicles that were coming in and they traced one of those vehicles to one of the car bombs, you know, one of the car bombs to this manifest. And then from that shipping manifest, they had the end destination in Germany who shipped it. So we put that guy's name on a bolo. So when that guy got caught in Bakuba with my prisoner, um, we had the whole thing. We had the whole thing linked together. So now wow. he's caught. So now he's in here. And he had no idea how we found out about him. Mm. Caught him but that's how we did. And that's just one method that they use for smuggling in um, uh, money. Right. And they've gotten way more clever now. I mean, obviously everyone knows about crypto. Um, there's other ways where they use SIM cards because you can load money on SIM cards and, and you know for phones and things like that. So yeah. you can do that and move that because it's very easy to take the little SIM cards, dump thousands of dollars on these things, and then move these SIM cards around and then hand them out. And then they can go change the money and do what they want. And it's all done under the radar without the banking system knowing about it. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very hard to track. Was there one interrogation that you did that sort of led to some sort of big win for you or a, like a big victory for your team? Is there is there one that sticks out in your mind? Yeah, I mean, we had a couple of them like that. So my guy that we caught in in, um, in Germany was, was a really big one because as we unraveled that case, we started to, we had, uh, they had ideas on who else was involved in, in Europe and other countries mm -hmm. and in other regions of the world and so we started filtering in these names like i would just say well why would this you know why did this person here talk about or mention mention x y or z and he my prisoner would respond back well he doesn't know about this or he's not involved with that well my guy just inadvertently acknowledged he knows this guy and this guy is involved yes. in the organization so where we thought we weren't sure if he was involved, now we know he's involved because our guy who is involved confirmed it. Mm. And they don't realize that that's what's happening. Right. And so that was a big win for us because it wasn't it wasn't like the sexy weapon cache or you captured someone here in Iraq. What it was, though, 
was that it was a big win for uncovering a massive web of financing that was happening, mm -hmm. uh, financing the organizations and the money flowing in. Mm -hmm. And that was really big because if you can dry that up, it makes it a lot harder for them to pay their fighters and continue to acquire weapons right. and do things and bribe people. So it was a big deal to kind of bust that. But it wasn't directly uh, addressing things inside of Iraq like, you know, I guess like we would think or, or want sometimes, mm. but it had a big, it had a big impact in the the overall mission though. Okay. Because you're drying up the money, and we're identifying a bunch of things in New York we didn't previously know about. Right. That was a really big deal. But my focus is kind of on Iraq, not what's going on in Europe. Right. If that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense.